Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot on Dell Inspiron 5547 which is called Inspiron 15 5000 series. So this is the bootable USB thumb drive. I'm going to install Windows 10 from this one. So I'm going to show you how to enable the legacy boot and do it. So first of all make sure you do connect your bootable USB thumb drive. As you can see the light is flashing, that's mean the USB is functional now I'm going to turn this off when the switch is completely off I'm going to turn back on and then I'll keep pressing F2 so once we press F2 it's going to take us directly to the bio screen if you press too many times that's fine but sometimes uh, it takes a couple of seconds to load up so don't be confused okay as you can see this is taking a little bit of time now we are on the main screen the information main screen shows the model number and product details from here as you can see there is nothing to change is all about this and then the next one is the advanced option from here we're going to find out if there is anything that we need to change it okay so external USB make sure that is enabled that is most important otherwise it would not be able to boot it up from the external USB so once it's done then we can go to security in security there is nothing else we need to do keep it as default okay uh, that's absolutely fine and then go to the next option which is called boot from boot as you can see the top one is legacy boot which is grayed out and EVFI boot is you know highlighted so to enable the legacy boot we must need to make the secure boot disabled by entering the error and hit enter again and asking for the permission just say yes hit enter now as you can see the legacy boot it comes up okay and once you do then you need to go to boot choice which is EVFI we must need to change it to legacy hit enter choose the top one hit enter again then it's going to select the legacy say yes hit enter again to select it now as you can see the legacy top boot option also uh, this is visible and you can customize it so there is nothing to choose from legacy which is fine now we're going to save changes by F10 and it's going to restart so hit enter and now get ready to keep pressing the F12 to get to temporary boot option directly okay that's the great option for Dell okay always so now we can see there are a lot of options what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the USB storage device. Okay, once I choose the USB storage device, the BIOS would take the boot directly from my bootable USB thumb drive, which is that one. So hit enter to select it. Machine will straight away turn on and it's going to show you the Windows logo. Just to confirm, this one, uh, this one is a right boot is gonna take us to the directly Windows setup page I can see the light is flashing from the USB and still there is the Windows logo so the length of this it depends on how strong PC that you got and how fast your USB drive here we go now we're gonna choose it for me United Kingdom which is always as it is hit next click install now setup is starting it's going to take a little bit of time as i said it depends on your machine okay so if you see the actual you know the what does it call sand watch that's when it's working now hit the terms and condition agree with it otherwise you'd not be able to install windows on it hit next now to do the clean installation you're going to choose the bottom one and as you can see all those are the old uh, partitions I'm gonna delete all of them but make sure before you delete 
you must need to backup your files otherwise you're going to lose all existing files so be careful about it before you do any um, you know departition so now I'm going to delete one by one and it's going to give a single partition and then we can customize this select delete okay select delete okay and then as you can see now it shows one terabyte which is 900 something let's make two partition click new and once I click new choose any amount that how big you want the partition is so I made it five so nearly half of the actual hard drive and it's gonna take a couple of seconds or a little bit longer and the second one also I'm gonna click again unallocated one hit next and then it's gonna be fine I'm gonna choose the bigger one and now it's gonna go from zero to hundred percent one by one fill up every single options gathering the information and then the actual Windows installation would be done as you can see now it shows 45 to 46 percent it's gonna go all the way up to 100 percent and then installing features installing updates finalizing the setup and then it would be done so what happened is in this USB boot a lot of people experience same problem so when it goes to 100 percent and restart the system it goes back to the beginning of the setup which is kind of a problem so how you can solve it is quite simple let me show you okay so this is turning up and again is going to go back to the general screen which is a kind of problem right so now just cross it and then keep pressing F12 before it start up and select the internal hard drive then it should be fine now you're going to see it's back to the normal and it will finish rest of the process which is very simple so device is getting ready as you can see 46 percent to 100 it's going to take a couple of minutes depend on how strong is your pc and now we're going to set up uh, some user features details permission and stuff this is cortona i'm going to turn it off because i don't need the voice instruction now it's going to ask you how your computer should behave just choose about the keyboard layout and all those sort of thing and then the actual setup would be done mm -hmm. and that's how you get into bios and enable the usb boot for your dell inspiron 15 5000 series so still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and I will try my best to reply pretty much that's all I hope I'll see you in the next video guys bye for now thank you